Hey guys! And hello guinea pigs! <laughs> pretty little one! So faster, pretty, and mini! D no, don't eat the camera, mini, please! It's kind of funny, they already had their morning pea flake, and I just spent a little bit of time at university. And I've just gotten back, and apparently someone has spread the rumor that there's going to be food, even though I don't even have any food right now. I mean, obviously there's food in the fridge, but... Someone has apparently spread that rumor, and now the guinea pigs got all excited when I opened the door. Who spread that rumor, little one? You're so funny, guys. I have a feeling Minnie spread that rumor because when I got home I had lunch and I had a sandwich and there was grilled bell pepper on it and I think um, Minnie might have smelled the bell pepper because when I was eating it she started squeaking. So you were the one who spread the rumor. You really want to come outside, piggies, huh? Be careful, Freddy, careful. Hello, little one. That didn't take long. Rita found a box. The blue one of these boxes used to be the pea flake box, so... Of course, Frida would be very interested in that box. And Frida also knew how to open it, um, but they can only open it if it isn't properly closed, so... Hey. Well, apparently I cannot open it either. Okay, so, like, if it's open like this, yeah, little one can open it. And Frida can open it as well. Yeah, but you're not supposed to open it, so if I close it... It makes this click sound, and if it makes that click sound, they cannot open it. As we just saw, you actually need two hands to open it. I cannot open it with one hand either. Is it in the way, little one? Minnie's saying hi to the camera. It's now the next day and I thought um, I can maybe do a little update video and talk to you about some stuff and just have the camera in the guinea pig's cage and let them do whatever they're doing. Minnie's currently eating hay. Alright, so as you may or may not know, I've started a new job. So um, the vlogs used to be about the guinea pigs, but also I used to share a lot about my life. And now the vlogs are completely guinea pig centered. But I sometimes see comments floating around asking whether, um, because I talked about, I used to talk a lot about universities. So I saw a lot of comments asking whether I actually ended up getting my degree. Um, what I'm doing right now, whether I'm finished with university. So I thought I would address these questions as well as the questions about the fifth guinea pig. Um, so I got my degree in December of 2017. So I finished my degree. Originally I thought I could finish my degree in September or October, but it didn't have to do anything with YouTube or anything. Just um, there was some scheduling conflict with my last exam, so it took a little bit longer until I was actually able to take that last exam. I thought I would be able to immediately take it after I handed in my final thesis, but I actually wasn't. Um, I needed to wait eight weeks before um, they allowed me to take the final exam. But it wasn't because I was missing credits or anything, it was just it's a rule um, at the university that there has to be a certain amount of time between handing in your final thing and then doing the last exam basically. Um, yeah, so I got my degree, um, I studied English literature, it was 
an awesome time. I had so much fun doing that if, and I can really recommend it if any of you um, are thinking about doing that maybe in college when you're older. I can definitely recommend English Literature. It was a fun time and it was awesome reading all of the, these books, thinking about theories, analyzing. Yeah. It was a fun time. So I got my degree, um, so that part of my life is kind of over, I guess. And I was applying for jobs and it took me a while to find one. Um, and I'm currently working at the university, but um, I'm done with my degree. So that's basically what I'm doing. So I'm still in the same environment I used to be in um, when I was still studying. The studying part of my life is kind of over, but at the same time, not really. Um, yeah, in any case, that's what I'm doing. Um, that's my job. Changing, like just adapting from being a student to now, I guess kind of working, even though it's very similar to what I did before, but it was a weird in-between time between being done with my degree and then getting a job wasn't exactly the best time. So it took a while to get used to it. And I feel like YouTube has maybe not suffered, but I feel like I wasn't able to put that much effort into my videos anymore because I was just busy adapting to a new situation and to a new environment, even though it's kind of the same environment, <laughs> if that makes sense, but I had to get used to it. Um, and I'm currently on a contract until the end of October, so hopefully I'll get a new one. Um, in any case, I really want to find a balance between working and doing YouTube and I feel like I wasn't very good at juggling both things at the same time. Pigmas is coming up and it's going to be Minnie's first Pigmas and I'm sure she's going to be very excited. So I want to make sure that I'm finding more time to do both things. I love what I'm doing in my job because I still recommend English literature to anyone interested in doing that. But I also really like creating videos and doing my own things. Of course, I really love my guinea pigs, so I love working with them because they're just cute. See, I, I put a camera in their cage and then I get to see smiley little Sylvester faces and smiley little mini faces. And then the one is helping me film. He's currently the cameraman. So I want to continue doing that because I think these two things that I do are just very different things and I enjoy both of them. So, long story short, I want to get better at juggling two things. I thought about maybe buying another camera, so I'm currently filming on a Panasonic Lumix DMC FZ72. Um, and I think that's an older model, um, you can, I don't think you can buy that anymore, um, but there's a newer version of this. I thought about getting a smaller digital camera so that I can film the guinea pigs from multiple perspectives. So for example, if I'm talking to you or if I'm filming the guinea pigs eating hay, I could also have a camera next to Frida or behind Mini. So if you can recommend any good digital cameras which aren't in the very, very expensive range, uh, that would be awesome. Regarding the fifth guinea pig, I had originally said we were going to get one when we got back from holiday, which was in July, but then I started this new job. I just had to do a lot of things. Um, currently, I think it's too hot to get another guinea pig um, because the introduction would just be mini whatever. What, what, what are you? Minnie is so relaxed when she's eating hay. Look at that leg. It isn't off the table. I'm still um, planning on getting a fifth guinea pig, um, but I'm definitely going to get one this year. Um, I'm I didn't really take into account that I would get a job, <laughs> to be honest, when I said I was going to get a fifth guinea pig, like the getting a job happened kind of suddenly. I didn't really expected it and I didn't really think it was going to happen that soon so yeah so I needed some time to get used to this to get used to everything and like find my place I guess but not off the table and definitely something I'm still gonna do Minnie is the most relaxed guinea pig ever. Wait. 
Look at those feet. But whenever she lies down, she just stretches them. You're very relaxed, me. <laughs> it's a good approach to life. If you're ever not in a happy mood, just be like Minnie. Everything is awesome as long as you can relax. I think this is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and see you guys next time. Bye!